All right, guys. PW here once again. Sony TV owners are going to be happy. And let me show you why. If you're looking for Dolby Vision, you've been waiting for a Dolby Vision update. Well, here you go. I got the news for you today. So before we start, I just want to point something out. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me if I've been buying the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray discs. Um, and I want to be honest, as opposed to buying the Blu-ray discs, um, I've actually been buying Blu-rays, uh, not the 4K Ultra HDs. And the reason why, um, beyond the obvious economical reasons or financial reasons, um, I don't really feel the 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays warrant paying the extra price. Uh, to me, there's not too much of a night and day difference in the 4K Blu-rays versus the regular original Blu-rays upscaled or upconverted into 4K by either my Oppo UDP-203 or my Marantz receiver. Um, to me, the difference doesn't lie in the resolution. It's the colors, the high dynamic range. Unless I'm using the high dynamic range, um, that's really where the improvement lies for me. It's not in the resolution. Yes, there is a big difference, and a lot of people might be upset at me for saying this, that I prefer sometimes the Blu-rays, but unless it's a monumental film, or one I've been waiting for for a long time to come out, uh, say, thank you for serving that film, um, I'm going to be getting that one, but even on that one, we're, we're pumping out DTS HD Master Audio, no Atmos or DTSX object-based surround sound. So, I've been holding off on a lot of the 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays, but... Well, it looks like I won't be when this firmware updates. So, straight out of Sound and Vision, according to them, Sony has announced that the firmware update that activates Dolby Vision high dynamic range processing in its high-end TV models will be available in mid to late January. So, the update applies to the following series and models. Not all of them are going to be found here, guys, and specifically the TV model that I own is not found here. But um, So that's going to be at a later date. I'll let you guys know when I do that, give an update video and all that. I'm sure it's going to look spectacular, wonderful. Um, owners of the Oppo Blu-ray players, either the UDP-203 or the 205, are going to have that Dolby Vision update currently out. It's been out for a long time, so make sure you've done that via an internet connection of some sort. Here are the models that it includes. Um, you know, this... TV right here is Sound and Vision's top pick for two grand, a 75 inch. Um, well, actually, that's the 65 inch, sorry. But um, that 75 inch right there, man, that's got to be a great TV. But for a Sound and Vision top pick, can't go wrong. But yeah, that's good news, guy. Uh, you know, good news. Um, I've been waiting a long time for the Sony, you know, Dolby Vision update. Uh, you know, so it'll finally be here. When? Well, late, mid to late January, so of this year, not next year, this year. So that should be good news for you. And before we get too happy or excited, I want to point something out. This is a Forbes article that I found regarding the same uh, situation, so to speak. Uh, so it's an additional, an additional illustration uh, that someone's looking for on uh, this subject matter. Uh, and Sony Dolby Vision TV update finally rolls out. Um... It's not all good news, guys, and I want you to kind of understand this. It's finally lived up to the promise it made way back. Um, yep, given that, yep, wrong. What? What do we have here? Unfortunately, far from having Sony TV owners cracking open the champagne, the long overdue update has got them howling with frustration. Problem is that the update doesn't seem to support Dolby Vision playback over HDMI. Okay, you know what that means, guys? Our Oppo UDP 203s and 205s, what? That's not going to work? It, apparently it's not over HDMI, so we got a little issue. Um, and if it's not over HDMI, well, it doesn't look like it's over USB either. So this firmware update just does things regarding streaming. The only Dolby Vision sources that the new firmware update seems to support, in fact, are built-in apps such as Netflix. I'm pretty sure Voodoo, um, and if you know Amazon's going to have HDR and some of their 4K content, maybe we'll see it there. But, uh, yeah, so that's, that's bad news. So we don't want to get too excited yet. But at least we've got the firmware update for the television. Um, be, you know, because as far as they do, the firmware update for the television itself, guys, you know, at least if you've got that specific model that it's relevant to, 
um, it, it shouldn't be hard to do a firmware update to support the HDMI capability then, you know, and, and, and once we have that, any 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray disc we put in, you know, connected to a Sony TV should have that. Keep in mind one thing, guys, I've talked about this before. Even if you have a uh, Dolby Vision compatible Blu-ray player, 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player, right? And you got Dolby Vision compatible 4K Ultra HD high dynamic range television. If you've got a surround sound receiver hooked up in that mix, make sure that guy is Dolby Vision compliant or compatible. Because if it is not, and you are going in HDMI into your receiver, then coming out HDMI into your TV, you will lose that Dolby Vision pass-through. Literally, you will lose it. So you'll be kind of confused as to, you'll have high dynamic range most likely, as long as you've got an HDCP 2.2 compliant receiver. You'll have high dynamic range, but it will not be in Dolby Vision. So I wanted to make you clear of that, or at least make you aware of that fact, that we've got to make sure our receivers are compliant with Dolby Vision. Um, and not many of them are, just the newer ones sold within the last year. But um, firmware updates available for that soon, too. Remember, I've promised you guys, I've contacted Marantz on a total of three times talking to a level two tier tech. Uh, two different ones, too. And I've asked them, look, when is my receiver going to have a Dolby Vision update? And when are the higher-end flagship receiver models from Marantz going to have this Dolby Vision update? And they keep promising me summer of 2018. So this summer, hopefully all of my components will have Dolby Vision compatibility, pass-through capability and whatnot. So we'll be, we'll be Dolby Vision swimming here soon. Uh, but... Not yet, at least. And there's one more article on the subject matter I wanted to make you aware of, and that's going to be the Digital Trends website. They also did an article. Um, looks like Sound and Vision kind of left this out. It wanted to get us excited, but didn't want to actually give us the bad news. Um, it doesn't, you know, it's not going to pass through over the HDMI, apparently. So we will wait and see what happens with this firmware update. But it only sends HDR signals down the HDMI connection, so Apple hasn't released a fix regarding the Apple 4K TV users. Um, but yeah, so you got to look into this. There's one more article I'm going to turn you on to. And I really think this article from AVS Forums kind of sums it up for us um, and gives us a proper conclusion, really. Uh, but, you know, it's been a full year since Sony announced that Dolby Vision would come to some of its TVs through the firmware update. Um, and keep in mind, the prerequisite for receiving the update is it must feature Sony's X1 Extreme processor. So if you've got a television from Sony that's a 4K high dynamic range one and it's got that Extreme processor, the X1 in it, you're good to go. Um, these are some of the ones that are going to be included. Uh, some of the older models, I'm positive, are getting one at some point. It might differentiate from these models in some aspects or some ways. We won't know that until it happens. But, um, yeah, this this kind of gives us, um, you know, the, the good news. The end result is that you get the most out of your TV when watching HDR movies and TV shows, all thanks to dynamic metadata. Crucially, these days are a sizable and growing selection of streaming and disc-based movies plus TV shows that are available with Dolby Vision. Some older HD Blu-rays use it. When it comes to streaming, you'll find Vudu, iTunes, Netflix, and Amazon all offer it on some titles. So, uh, we, you know, ABS Forum did confirm that Amazon has it, as I was just wondering. But uh, there you have it, guys. Um, the last part of the article just says that the, implementation, or, um, the implementation of Dolby Vision on Sony TVs has been eagerly anticipated since it was first announced. I look forward to seeing what kind of quality it delivers on the Sony X930E TV. That's actually the TV I've been considering purchasing at some point. Uh, Got to get some other gear first. Some speakers I'm waiting on. Power amplifier from Emotiva. And I'm going to have a lot of videos coming in the future, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a good day. Please take care. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, guys.